Hi all folks, this is Max from um, RootKindleFire.com So I've got here um, ICS running on my Kindle Fire um, This is the Kindle Zone ROM from um, XDA user Zone23 If you like this ROM, don't forget to donate to him I'll have links under credits um, This is a really nice ROM um, The only thing not working is video and sound uh, which means you can't watch Netflix um, but uh, let me give you a, a little tour. Uh oh, demo fail. Okay. What was working earlier? Oh, there we go. I got it. Okay. So, got Angry Birds here. It's working, I think. We don't have sound, sorry. Um, so, let's play level one here. Um, Angry Birds is working fine. It's actually running pretty, pretty uh, fast. I would have to say. I think this is where they, where the sound comes up. Dum -dum 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 -dum. So we'll play a sh small game here. Let's see if I can kill all the pigs in one shot. All right. So. So I did kill everybody in one shot, so that's good. Um, so let's go look at some other stuff. Um, auto rotation, not working yet. Um, so it's a full ICS experience. Uh, let's run a quadrant really quick. Seems like a, the touch screen's a little bit unresponsive. Um, that's probably from the ROM, but you know. This should get better. This is just a preview, and for those of you who want to try it, um, highly recommend it. Uh, you can try it. Just back up your your uh, rooted Kindle Fire ROM using uh, Torp Recovery. Install this. Try it out. Um, you know, play with it, and then you can make a backup of this ROM, and then restore your stock rooted ROM. And you can go back and forth, you know, if you need to, um, because the Kindle Fire ROMs. The good thing about Kindle Fire, it's um, there's not much. I don't think there's much bloatware, so it's it's only like 100 megabytes, so you can restore and back up really quickly. Um, so that's the good part. But you can see it's running pretty good on Quadrant, which isn't the best benchmark for uh, ICS right now, but it's running decent. Um, the dual core on the Kindle Fire is pretty decent. And as you can see, I've got 1675. And that's actually a really good number for this device. Um, it's probably getting like maybe 1300 on my Galaxy Nexus. So that's good. Um, you can check your mail, uh, run apps, you know, just you don't have sound and video. Um, but this is really good uh, ROM. And I'm surprised they've got, you know, they've got ICS running on this already. So what's coming next is, you know, we need to overclock it to like 1.4 gigahertz or 1.6 gigahertz. <laughs> and have sound and video working, it's gonna be an awesome Kindle Fire. For $199, you can have you know one of the coolest ICS um, tablet devices. Plus, you can switch back and forth uh, between the Kindle Fire um, OS. So, anyway, um, yeah, let me give you two settings here. Oh, you know what? I heard the sound. Sound is actually working. That is weird, it's not supposed to work. You hear that? Oh, it was just working and then it just died on me. I don't know what happened. Touch sounds. Um, so it's still in the works about tablet, but it's, it is running Android 4.0.3. You know, let me load up um, set CPU, see if it, you can overclock it. So here's the, uh, you do get the uh, Honeycomb browser, um, which is really cool. Um, so. so that's the browser. Works pretty well. Well, for some reason, I can't get the USB mass storage mode to work. Um, so, anyway, that was the review of the ICS preview. Um, if you want to try it out, go ahead and try it out. Make sure to make a backup, like I said before. Um, it's a pretty functional ROM, just no video and sound, which kind of sucks. So, um, But otherwise, great ROM. I'll have uh, updates as soon as this thing has sound and video. It's going to be awesome. Anyway. Thanks y'all and subscribe. See y'all later.